So I'm starting from side control. Bobby's going to turn in, pummel in towards the single leg. I'm going to overhook, drop my shoulder, stuff his head, and Gable grip my hands to vice him. Then when I go to stuff his head to start to reach my arm through for the dars, Bobby's going to throw his back on the mat. When he throws his back on the mat, it's very, don't do it it's very difficult for me to finish that dars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my right arm from out from underneath his head, let his elbow leak slightly, and I'm going to take the back of my hand and put it against his tricep. From here, I will pop up to the balls of my feet, and I'm going to circle around his body. When I get to the other side, I'm going to press my hips in, bring my elbow over his body, switch my hips, and then expand my chest into the arm coil. Again, from side control. He's going to come over in. I'm going to overhook. Attempt to vice my hands behind his head so I'm going to stuff his head. Bobby immediately feels that the dars is coming. He's going to put his back flat on the mat. I'm going to pose. My right arm comes through. I'm going to let his elbow leak just a little bit. And I'm going to catch his arm with the back of my hand and put pressure onto his body. And then I come up to my toes. Bobby will tell you there's a lot of pressure on him. Now this arm is not coming out. And I'm going to turn the corner, press my hips in just to turn them away a little slightly. Elbow comes to the mat, high leg, hip in for the arm coil. One more angle. And side control. I get the overhook, drop my ear and shoulder down. Going to the vice, Bobby knows what's coming. He's going to throw his back on the mat. Toast, let it leak. Chest tight on the balls of my feet. Circle around him. Pressure my hips in as my elbow goes down. High leg back. Keep his wrist as low as possible. One of the ways I can screw this up is letting Bobby punch his arm straight and forcing me to go back to side control. I want to keep that arm turned in, and I do that by keeping my armpit down, keeping his wrist as low as possible, and then expanding my chest for the arm coil.